Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Edward Troy was a painter of American thoroughbred horses. Born in Lausanne, Switzerland in July 1808 to a family of Swiss artists, he studied in England before emigrating to the United States by way of the West Indies. He was employed as an artist for Sartain's magazine, but after his marriage in 1839, Troy settled in central Kentucky and began painting racehorses for local families. Troy's best works, between the years 1835 and 1874, are true-to-life delineations of historical American Great Plains horses, but he also painted southern thoroughbreds, traveling among the plantations of Virginia, the Carolinas, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Troy painted over 300 portraits of horses, all in horizontal format, with the horse backed by a romantic landscape. In Natchez, Troy painted the horses of Adam Bingaman, William John Minor, and James Serge, who, like many Natchez planters, raced their horses on the old Metairie track in New Orleans as well as on the local Farsalia racetrack. A firm believer in English bloodstock, Minor imported many mares for breeding, and one of his favorites was the mare Britannia, painted by Troy. The artist visited James Surget's Cherry Grove plantation and painted some of his thoroughbreds as well, including this image of Trifle, the foundation mare of the American thoroughbred breed. One of the earliest examples of Troy's horse portraiture, the image of Trifle with jockey and attending groom is considered one of the artist's best works. I'm Elizabeth Boggess, and I'm a great-great-granddaughter of James Sergé and the fifth-generation owner of Cherry Grove Plantation. This is Trifle Stable, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.